Hello and welcome. This is Meshik. Uh, for some of you, you know the Geekish. So today we're going to do a little bit different thing. The last uh, tutorials we focused on Coral Draw. But today we're going to focus on uh, Django, which is a Python environment for creating uh, web applications. So um, basically, just call it web development with Python. So uh, first things first, before you proceed, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. So uh, the first thing is you're going to create a folder on uh, suppose your desktop or your C drive, uh, wherever you create that folder. But as you do that, uh, if you don't have PyCharm installed on your machine, because for this tutorial we're going to be using PyCharm community edition so if you don't have PyCharm installed on your computer uh, you can easily Google so just open your browser and then uh, just search for PyCharm community edition download so uh, as you can see it, uh, it, it, it brings you different uh, different uh, sites but from this one just take the one uh, the, 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 the second one download PyCharm Edu Python ID to learn programming. So just open the link. So as you can see, uh, there are actually a lot of uh, download buttons on this page more than you actually thought. So if you're on Windows, you just uh, select Windows and you download. If you're on Mac, you just select Mac. If you're on Linux, you select Linux and you download. So as you download PyCharm, you can pause the video until your download is complete. Then uh, after downloading, make sure you install. Just uh, m most of the staff just choose the default install uh, settings. Uh, so now I trust you have finished downloading PyCharm and you have finished uh, installing your PyCharm. So um, the first thing uh, we're going to do is with. Uh, Django, you need to pip install Django firstly before you can do anything. Before you can develop any web application using Django, you need to install Django in your main directory. So now open PyCharm. Then, uh, if you move your mouse to your top left corner, you see where it is written file on your menu bar. There is file edit view navigate code refractor, but in this case, we want file, so click file then new project so uh, before you rush this is where you need to to take uh, your time so you see there is a, a location on the create project panel there is location you need to choose the location where you're going to place your your application so in this case uh, I'm going to place mine in the on the desktop then in the folder uh, I created my folder is Prezi so I pick Prezi then that's okay then before you proceed click on the drop down where it is written project interpreter new virtual env environment so make sure there is virtual env installed then from there you can see there is our location which is the folder that you just chose then on the base interpreter you have to make sure that the Python version is specified on your base interpreter and once you're done with that hit click uh, create then this one is asking me the directory is not empty would you like to create the project from existing sources instead so uh, I'll just hit a, a yes then it asks me do you want to open any new window or current window I want a new window so I click OK so you can see if you hover your mouse to your top left you can see there is our project there is our folder Prezi right you click um, Prezi there is nothing as yet this is just uh, our directory so uh, now we want to create our project but how do we create this project we actually use the terminal so over your mouse to the bottom left then you see where it is written terminal click there so um, here's the thing that you really have to note 
make sure that you're in the directory make sure that you're in the folder that you want your files to be that you want your project to be so in this case i want my project to be in the folder prezi so in case you're not in the folder that you want just type cd then the fold space cd space then the folder name that you want uh, uh, your, the project to be so in this case cd prezi but obviously it's going to give me an error because i'm already in the folder prezi so there we go i mean my folder prezi so the first thing is we said we want to create our project so um i'm sure you have a name for your project but that's what we're going to call it uh shopify or let's just call it a uh, shopping so um the first command you're going to run uh is pip install because we said with django you have to first install django so you run the command pip space install install as a double l then uh, django then a double equal sign you specify the version the reason why we specify the version is there are so many versions of django but obviously you would want to use the latest version uh, so right now django is on version 3 so uh, pip install django equal equal 3.0 then you can hit enter so as you install django you you, you can uh, pause the video as you install so uh, I believe and understand that you have uh, finished installing Django but as you can see there are warnings so there is a warning you are using PIP version 19.2 point yet uh, version 20 is available uh, don't worry about that warning as yet because it doesn't affect anything that we are going to be doing but if you want to upgrade your PIP you can just run the, 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 the command that is below that warning message which is a uh, python space uh, slash m pip install slash slash upgrade pip so in this case we are done installing our um we are done installing our, 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 our django so now we want to create our project so make sure you're in the directory so in this case we're in Prezi, which is perfect so the first command you're going to run to install in, in order to create your first project or your first web application in Django is a uh, Django admin so there's Django slash admin then start project so not this one thing start project is one word so it's Django admin start project then you have to give your project the name so in this case we said our project is shopping so uh make sure you do exactly as i do django slash admin space start project is one word then shopping start with the small s then you space then period so basically i'll explain this period what this period basically means is we are creating our django project or we are creating the shopping project inside the current folder which is Prezi. So if you leave the period, yes, fair and fine, you get your project created, but not inside the directory that we're working with. So hit enter. So as you can see, that command ran successively. So if you hover your mouse, um, suppose you hover your mouse to the top left, as you can see, we now have our project shopping. If you collapse the, 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 the drop down, you see there is init.py, all these files are created automatically by uh, Python for us. So there is init.py, AISGI, then settings.py. We're going to work around the settings. We're going to work with settings a lot and URLs.py. So um, our focus mainly will be in those uh, files, settings.py and URLs.py. But for now, we're not looking at them that much. So the second command, so this is what happens with uh, Django. You can create as many applications as you want within one project but what you then do is you call the application that you really want at that specific time so in our shopping application or we, we could have uh, a customer database 
is a separate application. We could have uh, a supplier's database in other, is another application. And we all also can have a stocks database is another application. So in this case, we want to create an application, uh, uh, let's call it a supplier's application within our um, shopping project. So you run the next command, which is uh, which is a uh, um, so you run the command Django on your terminal it says Django admin start up so an app is a double P so you can see on top we started project now we're starting up so it's Django admin start up we want we said we want to create uh, the application customers so Django admin start up customers then in this case there is no need to uh, place a period or uh, because we're already in the directory that we're working with so there's Django admin start up customers then you hit enter as you can see um, apparently so apparently uh, I, I have an error you can see my error is because I spelled Django uh, wrongly. So it's Django slash admin. So it's Django admin start up customers. So Django admin start up customers. Then you hit enter. So as you can see, I have uh, successfully created my app. Uh, customers which is inside shopping so you over your mouse to to the left top left you can see I now have my directory or I now have my application customers so if you collapse our uh, customers you can see there is uh, migrations there is init.py also there is admin.py we're going to work with this a lot apps.py we're also going to modify it then models uh, I'm sure if you're not new to developing web applications we actually use what we call mvc in most of the platforms which is models views and controllers so in python in django a model is a, a database that is uh, where your data resides then your views are what actually the customer sees or what the end user sees then your admin or your settings.py is where you actually place which url needs to go away so with that, we can say we uh, we have successfully created our first Django application. But then, how do we see this application? How do we view it? You go back to your terminal, then you run the following command, which is um, so uh, your command is Python. So if you're on Windows, it's Python. If you're on Mac, you then specify Python three. So I'm on Windows, so it's Python manage dot pi then i need to run server then you hit enter so wait for it to to process so as you can see it has run all those commands for me so uh now to view our project you come to this link right here which is a uh, start development http slash 127 just click that then as you can see automatically it brings you your browser but now look I have an error not found this is mainly because um, Python uh, in fact port number 8000 is usually occupied by most applications uh, in your computer it could be Skype it could be any other application so what you could do is you could specify the port number that you want to run your server on so uh, I run server then I specify port number, let's say to 9897. Uh, then I hit enter. So wait for it to, to process. So as you can see, it has changed my HTTP to 127.0.0.1.98, which is the one that I specified. So if you click on that link, uh, you can see we have this new beautiful page, which is our, our first web application using Django. Uh, so this text, trust me, it's uh, just there as a as a plus folder text. But 
you have just successfully created your first Python web application. But before I go, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, thank you for listening.